If you use the G-Sender Control software to run your CNC router, there's a little glitch that occurs super rarely that you'll need to know about and know how to fix. IDCWoodcraft.com I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, the company that provides you with the CNC router bits to carve out your amazing CNC projects. In this very short video, I'm going to show you how to correct a problem in the G-Sender Control software when you cannot set your X, Y, and Z zero by hitting the X and the Y and the Z zero buttons. I'm going to show you what I mean and then I'm going to show you how to fix it. Very quick, very simple. We are now in the G-Sender Control software and I'm going to connect this to my machine by hovering over this little box here and we're connecting to COM4. And we're going to wait for the controller to connect to the machine. So we are now connected when all these buttons turn blue. Now you see in my X and my Y, there are numbers right here in the big blue uh, area that's 2.364 and then we have 2.167. If we want to set that position of the router to the zero position, all we need to do is just click this button right here for the X, this button here for the Y, and this button for the Z. So when I click X, nothing's happening. For Y, nothing's happening as well. In the background of the software, something is actually happening. You are actually setting the zero value for that X Y and Z position. What's going on is the software is not reporting back to you that it is doing that. So I'm going to show you the quick fix of how to fix that. When the software is connected to your machine, you go over to firmware, this little button right here, select that and scroll down to number 10. And it says status report options. Now there may be a reset button right here. It looks kind of like this. If you have that, you'll just want to hit that reset arrow and it should reset it. And then you'll just click this little button down here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the WPOS button, uh, switch right there. And then we are going to apply the settings. Now you see this just popped up. So if this pops up and you reset it and it doesn't change and come back in and change this WPOS switch. We're going to apply the settings and then we're going to close this. And now you can see these numbers have gone to zero. Now what has happened is the numbers were already zero. The machine just didn't report it back. Now it's reporting back to you and it's reporting back to you with the zero values. And now we can go in and move this machine around a little bit. So I'm going to move my, my X and Y and Z. So all these are numbers. Now I can select each one and it is now setting the numbers to zero. If this little rare event happens to you where you can't reset those zeros on the button where it's not reporting back to you, you go into the firmware to number 10 and make sure the WPOS button switch is pushed to the left and you will be back in good order. If this video gave you a little tip that you may need to use in the future, then give me a thumbs up and maybe a comment down below of any videos you would like me to shoot for you. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, the company that provides you with the CNC router bits to carve out your amazing projects. I will see you in the next video idcwoodcraft.com